you will hear a number of different recordings, and you have to answer questions on what you hear. There'll be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played only once. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given ten minutes to transfer your answers into your answer sheet. Now turn to section one. Section one. You will hear a talk between a student and an accommodation officer. First, you have some time to look at questions one to ten. Now listen carefully and answer questions one to ten. Hello, how may I help you? Hello, my name is Martina Bila. I made an appointment to see you at ten o'clock. I'm a little early. Is that okay? No problem. We're not very busy at the moment. You said on the phone that you weren't happy with your accommodation and were thinking of changing. That's right. May I ask what the problem is exactly? To be honest, there's more than one problem. The main problem is that the accommodation is further than I imagined from the university. I see. And the other problem or problems? The other problem is that the landlady is quite a heavy smoker. I'm a non-smoker, and I'm afraid that I find it quite unpleasant. I'm sorry about that. Weren't you given the option of accommodation with smokers or non-smokers? I'm afraid that's really my fault. I don't mind light smokers, but I didn't get my accommodation organised very much in advance, so most of the accommodation had gone by the time I applied. However, a friend told me that there is sometimes accommodation.、Uh, you know,、uh, accommodation becomes available mid-term because some people leave the university or change their place,、uh, the place where they live. So I thought maybe. I see. Yes, it is important to arrange accommodation well in advance, though it isn't always possible. However, your friend was correct. We do get some accommodation available mid-term. Just give me a minute to find your details on the computer. Yes, of course. Now, your current address is forty-three Parkway Drive, isn't it? Yes. Yes, that's a fair way away. The bus connection isn't too good either, is it? I think that it would be better to focus on that as the reason for moving. Rather than the smoking issue, however, I will change the information in the computer to say that this accommodation is only suitable for smokers or people who don't mind heavy smokers. That way, we can avoid similar problems in the future. That sounds like a good idea. Now, the good news is that there is plenty of accommodation available nearer the university. The bad news is that it is more expensive. That's okay. I expected that. Is there any catered or self-catering university accommodation available? That would be ideal. I thought you might be interested in that. The day after you phoned, a place became available. It's catered, so it's the most expensive type of accommodation, but it's yours if you want it. There's no self-catering accommodation available. Not at the moment. Something could become available at any time, but then again, you might have to wait weeks. I understand. Can I just check the cost? It's thirty-seven pounds fifty per week. You also have to pay twenty-three pounds fifteen during the Christmas and Easter holidays, regardless of whether you are there or not. That sum doesn't include meals during those periods. But summer holidays are not included. That's right. Students are permitted to stay in university accommodation during holidays, but they usually have to move to a different flat. I see. And do I pay monthly? Yes, but don't worry if you're a few days late. It happens quite often, and we don't mind too much. Can I see a picture of the accommodation? Sure. It looks like this. You can see that there is a single bedroom for each student and a common living room and bathroom. There are no cooking facilities, but many students buy a microwave. Can you tell me anything about the people I'd be living with? There are two girls there. One is British and one is Indian. They are studying law and marketing, respectively. 
They're the same age as you, 20, and they're not smokers. That sounds perfect. If I don't give my landlady a month's notice, she gets to keep the deposit, doesn't she? That's normally stated in the rental agreement, yes. I'd like to be able to keep this university accommodation available, but I'm afraid I can't. If someone else wants it and takes it... I understand. I'll take it. Can I move in on the first day of next month? What day is today? 22nd. Yes, that should be fine. Give me a minute to print out the standard rental agreement. That is the end of section 1. You now have half a minute to check your answers.